Thanks for joining me, folks. This morning, I'm here in Glencoe, and behind me, we have, of course, the beautiful Bokala Etiv Moor, the big herdsman of Glen Etiv. What a sight that is. Anyway, I'm not going up there today. Instead, I'm going up another nearby hill that offers good views over the Glen to Bokala Etiv Moor, but also down Glencoe and over to Rannoch Moor. The hill is called Bain a Chrulishja, and today, I'm taking a route up the hill known as the Pink Rib, which is a grade one scramble directly up its front face. Now, I'll be honest, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm excited at the same time, and I'm looking forward to getting up there and seeing the views from a different angle. The sun is absolutely blazing, and the forecast is to be pretty warm today, so I think I'm gonna be pretty lucky with this one, and I'm hoping it's gonna be a spectacular video as well. Anyway, I can see the Pink Rib staring directly at me over there. So I'm going to walk along this path a little bit further, cut across the heller, and find my way to the foot of the pink rib of Baina Hrulishja. Let's go. Near the west coast of Scotland, Baina Hrulishja stands at the entrance to Glencoe when arriving from the south. With 360 degree views of some of Scotland's finest mountains, it has to be up there as one of the best viewpoints in the land. And the route today was set to take full advantage of it. After parking the car at Altna Fjau, I headed east along the West Highland Way, towards the King's House Hotel. trying not to let the ravens scare me off. Cutting off the track, I headed north, moving to the right of a large gully carved into the mountainside. Making my way over the rocky obstacles that lay in my path. After starting up the grassy slopes, I started to find pink rocks dotted about the landscape, a sign that I was on the right track. The gradient quickly steepens, the rocks peppered through the grass getting denser as I gained height, until eventually there was nowhere else to go but onto bare rock. I had reached the pink rib. An obvious pink outcrop on the mountain's otherwise grey and green face. It was time to get scrambling. A grade one scramble. The pink rib has plenty of holds and the exposure is minimal. With escape routes also available, it's a fantastic wee scramble for those wanting a bit of adventure in the summer. Made all the more enjoyable by the scenery across the glen. All this scrambling is sweaty work. But luckily, there's a shower halfway up, streaming into a natural infinity pool with a view. The bulk of the scramble had yet to come. Above me lay the most rocky and interesting part of the route. Although you could opt for clambering up the grass, in reality, the rock is probably the easier option. After a little more scrambling, it was time to stop for a water break.
to admire the flat expanse of Rannoch Moor below, fading into the haze. Perched on the edge of the porous pink rock, which provided plenty of grip when dry. But where there was running water, a slippery green slime clung to the rock, making him dangerous and to be avoided. The last stretch up the pink rib was more of the same. Finding a route through the rocks high above the floor of Glencoe. All too soon, the rocks come to an end as you emerge onto the grassy top of the mountain. Well folks, that was the pink rib and what a fantastic wee route it was. It's a little bit steep going up, but there are plenty of handholds everywhere and the rock is pretty grippy and porous, so I felt pretty safe the entire time going up there. I definitely recommend that route to people that want to uh, try out scrambling for the first time because it's, uh, it's, it's nice and straightforward and the rewards you get, the views behind you to Bocoletive Moor are absolutely spectacular. And there are a few little locations on the way up there that are uh, definitely, definitely worth visiting. I'm up to the, the top of being a Krulishja now and I've still got a little bit to go. Um, it's a relatively straightforward incline up to the summit here now over some grassy areas. And once I get to the summit, I'll get good views over the other side, hopefully, to see the Blackwater Reservoir and Rannoch Moor as well. What a location this is. Absolutely beautiful mountain. Anyway, let's get to the top. It's a short, straightforward walk from the top of the Pink Rib to the summit of Bein Achrulishja. A viewpoint like no other. The enormous Blackwater Reservoir lies to the north. It's 914 metre long dam, the longest in the Highlands. To the south, the summit of Stop Jerak on Bochai Echevor and its rugged northern face. And to the east, Ranach Moor. To the west, the shoulder of the mountain leads off down to Glencoe and the Three Sisters. This is perhaps one of the finest viewpoints in all of Scotland. Well folks, that was Baina Krulishja and what a magnificent wee mountain it's been. I've just come down off the summit here a little bit to talk to you. I just wanted to get away from the wind up there and didn't want to have it blowing the microphone around. But yeah, what a beautiful day. The sunshine has been glorious. It's quite warm today, but apart from the little bit of wind at the summit, there's been hardly any wind at all, which is great. Behind me here, we've got Bokola Etiv Moor. Now, I always thought that was the Gaelic name for this mountain, but it's not. The Gaelic name is Bokaya Iche Vor, which means the big herdsman of Glen Etiv. And next to it is Bokaya Iche Bik, or Bokola Etiv Bik, which is the little herdsman of Glen Etiv. And Glen Etiv itself is just down to the, the left hand side of Bocola Etiv Moor here. Now it's an absolutely stunning location, Glencoe. There's so many mountains around, but there are plenty of low level walks as well. You've got things like the Devil's Staircase and you can go up Glen Etiv as well. There's plenty of low level walks around here if you're not fancying heading up the hills. And in terms of the mountains I can see here today, this viewpoint is absolutely perfect. I can see Bijin Nambian down there, uh, just poking its head at the clouds now. The highest mountain in all of Argyll and the highest mountain in Glencoe. But if you're looking for higher, if I look to my north, I can see the biggest mountain in the land, Ben Nevis. The snow's still clinging to the top. Absolutely beautiful. 
over in that direction as well. We've also got Stob Ban and Mulchnan Corin, a couple of mountains I've done previously on my channel. And I remember Stob Ban being particularly nice. It was a lovely wee mountain that, and I'd love to, love to go back there one day. But yeah, it's been a great day. My plan was to head back down uh, the eastern side of this mountain to the car and round by King's House. Um, but unfortunately, I've spent a bit too much time filming than I would have liked, uh, so I'm kind of strapped for time now. So my car's actually parked down at Alton a few, which is a big lay-by uh, at the side of the road at Glencoe. So I'm going to head directly down west uh, over to it now and hopefully cut off a bit of time. Unfortunately, this route is a little bit boggy and not so pleasant, but I'll make do. Before I forget, in the description below, you'll find a link for this route and a link to the start point in Google Maps if you fancy doing it yourself, because as much as I can show you these beautiful places, you have to come and see them for yourselves. These videos don't do them justice. They're absolutely stunning. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. If you liked the video, hit subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you on the next adventure too. Bye for now.